Hello everyone and welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. This is Cassie. Today we're going to be doing a watercolor trifold. Um, I just, I don't know if this stamp's actually still available, but I love it. It's from Art Impressions and it's called Pause to Love. And I just needed some watercolor today and this just seemed to speak to my heart. It was sitting there on my desk and I knew I had to play with it. So it's got all the stamps that you need. It also has the dies and then the back has all of the instructions for how you can do this trifold. I'm gonna use some Arteza Expert 140 pound watercolor paper. This stuff measures uh, 14 inches by 11 inches. Yes, and that works out perfectly because you're going to need a panel that is 4 inches by 11 inches. I'm also going to be using these Nuvo watercolor pencils. These are the elementary mid-tones and the hair and skin tones. So let's go ahead and just talk a little bit about the instructions. As I said, you're going to want to cut a piece of white cardstock, in this case watercolor paper if you're going to watercolor, and you're going to cut it to, I was wrong, 4 and a half inches by 11 inches, not 4 and then you're going to score it. So it says here to score it in even thirds, which would be each section being three and five eighths, which is where my little arrow is on my score buddy. So I'm gonna score that and then I'm going to rotate the paper and I'll do it again. And then I'm going to use my bone folder just to make sure that everything is scored properly and that I have nice crisp lines and that we don't have anything that would hang over and it works perfectly. So the instructions, <laughs> they are there for a reason. Uh, and then your card's going to measure four and a half inches by three and five eighths. So it'll be this cute little panel. I'm going to put this inside of my Misty and I have part of it folded, but I have the front panel showing right now. And I'm going to line up the first stamp. And what it is saying is to center that and then ink that up. You're going to want that approximately one and three fourths inches from the top. But I think it doesn't really matter. You can put it where you want. Um, it's just that's going to affect where everything is on the inside, the other two panels. So I'm inking this up with some VersaFine Clair Nocturne ink, which is really good for watercolor. You could use any sort of pigment or watercolor um, ink that you find that you like. And I'm just gonna push that down. You don't have to use a Misti, but I find that the Misti, especially when you're stamping on watercolor paper, is extremely useful. Now I'm just gonna trim apart the dies that came in this set using a little wire trimmer. And then the next part is to line that up inside that first part that you stamped. I'm gonna take some washi tape and tack that down right in the center. I'm not gonna go over what I stamped because for whatever reason, my die cutting machine will push so hard that that washi tape will now become one with the watercolor paper and it will tear it. So that's why I stick to the middle and that's what you're gonna end up with. So then the next part is to make sure everything is folded and you're gonna take a pencil and you're going to lightly trace all around the inside of the opening. You'll need that because this is how you're going to line up your next stamp. So you'll just line that up over the top, kind of making sure that it looks a little centered. I keep going back to the front card or you know the, the example on the front to just make sure and see. Close the door of your Misty, and then you may want to actually erase your pencil marks. I didn't do that this first time. Uh, you can get away with it as long as you wait for your image to dry completely before you come in with your eraser. So I made sure to make sure that it was completely dry, and then I'll just come in with my eraser and erase that. And then your next step would be to take the final die and line that up on the inside, tack that down, and run that through your die cutting machine. And then you're left with that close it up again and you can kind of see where we're headed looking good and then you're going to trace this one on the very inside of your card just very lightly with your pencil and this way you can line up the final stamp which is the little pup and the little kitty sleeping I decided to go ahead and erase this time and then I went ahead and stamped down my image once again using that VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and then once I close it all up, you can see all the way through. I think that's why I like these trifolds so much. It's a pretty easy thing to do. So here are my watercolor pencils. I'm gonna color with these a little bit differently than most people probably do. I like to take my water brush and go right to the pigment. Instead of coloring down like it is a pencil and then taking my water over the top of that, I find that I get more control and I just like it a little bit better. So I'm starting off at real time here, but I will eventually speed this up. So I said that I really needed this today. 
Uh, <laughs> some of you know, not many of you, because I'm actually a fairly private person. We had a little bit of a rough go. I did share that we had a medical emergency in our family, and that happened earlier this month. And I think that's why I'm kind of still in a little bit of a funk. I am not, I'm not 100% there yet, I guess. We had a lot happen this month. Uh, at the very beginning of the month, we signed for a new home. Some of you know that. We signed for a new home on the 4th. We signed, came to the house, did a little bit of cleaning, and then we were going to head back and grab a few things. And on the ride back to our old home, I got a phone call that my mother had had a stroke. And so <laughs> instead of being able to help my husband finish up with the packing so that we could be prepared for the U-Haul the next day, I jumped on the road and headed out to be with my mom and stepdad. And I'll just tell you, my husband is an absolute rock star. Uh, I will say that, you know, I, I hate packing. Like, it is my nemesis. Uh, and, you know, we're military, so we move a lot. But usually we let them pack us and then we just unpack. But this time it was on us because we chose to move. And so um, I missed out on most of the packing and I tease my mom and say, hey, mom, thanks for, you know, having that stroke so I don't have to <laughs> participate in the packing. But I, all joking aside, my husband is an absolute rock star. Not only did he finish all of the packing, which is kind of his, you know, he's, he's good at that. Uh, and my daughter helped as well. Then her boyfriend and some of his work friends and, you know, it, it all got taken care of. But it, I will say God is in all of it because in that process, I kept thinking beforehand, you know, like, why did he schedule a whole week to move? We don't need that long. But it worked out to be absolutely perfect because I was in Atlanta for a whole week getting updates and making sure that all was taken care of and, uh, or at least for my end. I say taken care of because I'm a, I feel like I'm a pretty selfish person. I want to know what's going on and I wanted to make sure that my stepdad was good to go, even though I know he was. Uh, it was more for my own sake than for his <laughs> because like I said, I'm kind of selfish. So uh, by the time I got back, which was a week later, we were completely moved in and I will say my bread and butter is actually the unpacking. I will also add that it has been a little difficult to want to do it. I love this home. It is a beautiful, amazing home, but I think I'm still kind of in that figure it out part of what we all dealt with. And while she is doing amazing, praise God for that. I never really dealt with the emotions of it at the time, simply because I think that's just my personality. It's like the, okay, there'll be time to be upset and freak out later but right now we need to make sure everybody's good to go and so um, I'm working on it and it's been hard to want to be in the craft room unless it's something that I'm not required but like just a project that I have you know offered to do uh, so something like this was really good to just get me back in here I love watercolor I always always have it is so therapeutic for me and I just think for so many of us, creating and crafting is very therapeutic. So my encouragement to you is to find your thing. Find what helps you and just make it happen. Um, like I said, it's been difficult, but I sat in here and, you know, I cried a little. And then I looked at the, <laughs> I looked at this stamp set and I was like, that's the one. Because it was perfect. It has that little sentiment that says, life is short, pause to love. And I can't emphasize that anymore um, because it's just so important to let those around you that, that you love, let them know, make sure that they know. For me, my people are the most important thing. The stuff doesn't matter, but my people sure do. And if I could leave this world or if I had to leave this world tomorrow, as long as those that I love knew that I loved them, then I feel pretty good. And so I thought this was just so perfect. A true friend listens with the heart. So I have to also admit that while I was doing this, I decided to call my best friend. So in the whole painting process here, I'm talking to my best friend. And then I read that sentiment that says a true friend listens with the heart. And, you know, we prayed together on the phone. She listened. We cried. We laughed. And <laughs> I'm telling you, watercolor and a bestie are total therapy. So big time encouragement to 
do that and and find what you need in the midst of whatever your healing is. Um, I know that this situation could have ended up much worse. And I am so grateful for all the people that stepped up around me and really just took on the tasks that I normally would but couldn't and are still doing that really now. And um, I know that all, it'll all be good. I know that. I, I just know that there were a lot, a lot of major life changes that happened over this last month. And I'm still, of course, concerned for my mom. I just want to make sure she's good. And I want to make sure my husband's good too because he really stepped up. He always has, so I'm I'm super, super grateful for that. All right, but anyway, moving on, um, just encourage you to, to find your therapy where you need it and, you know, take time to heal you when the time comes and it's necessary. I'm going to finish up with some of this watercoloring. Uh, I am watercoloring the pup and the kitty like our dog and one of our cats. Uh, it, this would be ideal if there were two cats, right? but it isn't it only has the one so I've got our little lolly dog and then I'm gonna go ahead and color this one like uh, probably a mix of both of the boys so definitely Siamese I knew I know you knew I had to do that so there that is and I just think this is so much fun and there it is all completed check that out a very easy watercolor that you could do and you end up with this cute little card so if you like this video, I'd love it if you hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate all the love and support that you guys have given. So many of you have just reached out without even knowing what was happening and you, you showed your heart. So I appreciate you. Please know you're loved and appreciated and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.